Yep, right out of Bukal Bar. Oh. Well, actually, good. Be a good in a road, eh? Spenchel, 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 Spenchel. Everyone wanna see white stone them in the road. Be a Spenchel. White or square. Strike again. Yep, road block off. Crime scene is here. What they do. Welcome to Crime Time News where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz. In case you've been living under a rock, Jamaica is pervert and petty central. It has been like this for a couple of decades, however, it was swept under the rug. However, with the advent of social media, a lot of these people and their bad habits are getting explo exposed. I am going to show you a video of a mother that pretty much confronts one of those individuals while he was going on one of some sorts of public transportation. This is the reaction and this is what the mother had to say as she defends her child. Take a listen, take a look and then I'll give my piece. Mr. Batman pervert, is where your problem? He's a blood clot, pity tell you she want no man. He want to fuck your text, my pity phone for. He want to text her phone for. She tell you she want no man. Eh? Don't. I used to see police make sure I call you while you. Me come in person. Me, me come in, me fuck myself. Right. Me know what a batty man. Eh? The man them don't do the blood clot, you know. Eh? Them don't do the batty I text and panic. You sent one them. Me pity tell you she want a batty man, boy. A book she say. A book she blood clot say. Now, people, based on what this lady is saying, apparently this man went to the big yard, come back out, come back out with the same attitude. What this speaks is of a problem that exists in a Jamaica where these persons are not registered with some sorts of registry in a Jamaica. So, therefore, people living in a certain community will be informed. That persons leaving out of the big yard that are petty are some sorts of child A B U S E R S are living in their era. Obviously, this man came back out and is doing the same thing based on what this mother is saying. And people, if you are any sorts of responsible mother, you are going to have the mother in syndrome. That means that you are going to protect your own at all costs. So therefore, this lady is doing what is in her parental instincts. She had defend her child at all costs and she is confronting the problem where it exists. The moral of the story and the reason for doing this video, exposing this video out there, is that hopefully the relevant authority will see this video and do their job actually. If this lady is telling the truth and this man is guilty of what he is accused of doing, Hopefully, justice will be served, whether in the court or the court of public opinion, meaning the Tarzan and Jane and the little monkey and the little boy type of justice. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, it seems as if sisters and sisters, brothers and brothers are no longer their brothers or sisters keeper in a Jamaica. It seems as if the new very disturbing trend is that father take a son, son take a father, 
sister I take away, sister, sister I take away, brother, brother I take away, sister. Any sorts of disturbing combination that you can find, it is happening more than we would like. The same can be said about two brothers. One brother that took away the next brother in a place called Cascade District that happens to be in St. Anne. The person that lost his life, his name is Lambert Allen. He was 48 years old at the time, a farmer. He lost his life at the hands of his own brother. I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to the edited version of exactly the reaction of the brother when he realized that he took away his brother by licking him in his head and juking him with some sorts of metal object. This was when he was locked up in the house and the residents converged at his house. So take a listen, take a look to the reaction and response of all involved, and then I'll give my peace. <laughs> Now people, because of YouTube's policy, obviously I cannot show the video, so therefore that was the edited version, the audio and the video. What was kind of obvious is that this brother was probably drinking, so therefore he might have been under the influence. Based on what he said, there was some sorts of squabble with himself and his brother over some sorts of money. As to who was wrong or instigated what, I have no sorts of idea. I just know the end product was tragic, meaning one brother is there bawling out his God's crocodile tears running all over him face. And then the next brother lay down upon the ground, B-L-E-E-D, out. Based on the information is either him get licking him head or him get joke with the pipe iron people. Me not really know. It could be a combination of both. So you hear that brother, I say, Lord God, me end up in prison right now. Look for my brother upon the ground. People like them say, whenever you have any sorts of anger management problem, do not flare up. Sometimes it is best to walk away. Sometimes it is not easy to walk away. However, if you are going to end up taking away somebody's life, if it is not in self-defense, then you know more than likely you are going to get locked up. You are going to end up in the big yard and then your brother end up in the graveyard. The moral of the story is that all of this could have easily been avoided had purses let better head prevail. Somebody have to cool down, quell down the situation. Everybody cannot be aggressors because like them say, a kind word turn it away wrath, grievous words stir up anger. Anger management is a big problem in a Jamaica and this is yet an next perfect example of a recipe for disaster. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, it is called Can We All Get Along in the Voice of Rodney King? And the answer to that is no, no and no. I am speaking about the situation as it pertains to the Popo and most residents in most garrison. It seems as if they may live like puss and dog. They will never be friends. There is no sorts of love loss. However, this very disturbing trend is causing the loss of life of many innocent youths. Now, I understand a lot of times when the poor poor go into certain garrison and people lose them life. Even if this person is the worstest person upon mass of God earth, the residents are going to always defend him and say, yeah, he's a good little youth. Him record clean like Jesus, poor poor record. When the fact is that it is a polar opposite. However, we've seen some very disturbing trend. One of them in our place called Linsid, in which a youth lost his life. Video showed that this youth was taken out in the morning. Poor, poor claims they are even conflicting stories. Videos usually don't lie unless they are edited. 
Fast forward less than 24 hours ago in a place called Old Arbor. Two other youth, 23-year-old Mr. Bailey, 21-year-old Mr. Mackenzie, they were taken out under questionable circumstances by the Popo. Needless to say, the residents, especially the mothers and friends of these two youth, were very mad. So therefore, them land some sorts of F-I-R-E-Y protests. They start some sorts of squabble between themselves and the Popo because the Popo was not having it. Don't you realize whenever stuff like this happens, it is never gray. It is always black and white. The people must say them innocent. The Popo I say some sorts of S-H-O-O-T out. Even though the evidence does not substantiate their claim. But people, like we see, it seems as if the Popo have all the talk. And then whatever happens is always going to be in the favor of the Popo. That means innocent people are going to lose their life too much, too many times. Now, people, here's the thing. All of this could have easily been avoided if they took precautionary measure. We've heard the upper hierarchy of the JCF say them get a couple hundred body armored camera. And they are going to make sure that whenever the Popo go on any sorts of operation, they are going to implement this. However, people, you and I know Jamaica, JCF specifically, nine day talk. These Popo are the upper hierarchy of the JCF, know that these persons are out there doing stuff that are questionable. And I am not going to say that all Popo are bad or rogue. However, more than to be concerned about. So I say this to say that if you make these popo wear these body camera, then whenever any sorts of controversial S H O O T I N G R K I L L I N G occur, then they can defend themselves because the evidence would be right there on camera. However, when persons know within themselves that they don't have good intentions, then them know so them have something to hide because that is the only reason why they would not wear these cameras because they are afraid of extrajudicial cases. They are afraid that they are going to get lawsuit. They are afraid that they are going to get locked up and even convicted. Without these cameras, then it is the poor poor side versus the resident side and people. You and I know which side is going to chump all the time. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, as an ex GSC student, we know that Boys and Girls Champs was held over last week and Kingston College won three times back to back to back. So people, as a GSC old boy, may I go launch some sorts of protests. I am going to try to get back this trophy upon some sorts of technicality. If you look at your screen, this is a KC athlete. I think he runs the distance. I think he's originally from Africa, people. Me no know, me just say. Him look like him could have come from over there. When you look at this youth, usually when you go to school, are between like 12, 10 to 18 year old. However, this youth look like him in his early 40s, maybe 30 something, if him have a bad life. People, look upon this man. Do you think that this youth is actually a schoolboy? I think that this youth's mother or father registered him when he was about 20, 20 something year old. So, therefore, him start one at 20, 28 or so. And then, when he reach at 18, which is actually about 40 something, them transfer him and carry him go to KC and make him run and win a couple race. So, people, I am protesting. That KC won with cheating using overage students. People, all of this is just a joke. I am not really bad man. Me just want me to get a laugh on the Sunday because who else is the hypest, best blogger on YouTube? Most hilarious, not funny. Funny we left to some people that pretty much script all of their joke. This is just freestyle, point blank and period. So anyways, people. Thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself.